Welcome back, my friends, to Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is episode 33. Last we left off, we had just finished a very long and very engaging battle at Privy Slots. Privy Slavitz, I believe. Um, and my journal is telling me to go up the stairs and speak with Sir Radzig because apparently, while we were battling in Privy Slavitz, another gang of bandits attacked Murhoyed. However, the villagers not only held off the raiders, but even took one captive. Sir Radzig will, will, ah, excuse me, wants me to interrogate him. So I'm going to go find Sir Radzig. Um, he is at the other castle, maybe? Yes, he is. Well, that's just fine, because what I wanted to do in the meantime is that I would never, or I would like to never get caught in a situation like where we were caught with Runt, um, where I am not well equipped, where I'm not wearing the things that I should be and not using the weapons that I should be, because um, I think that made that battle a lot tougher <laughs> than it needed to be, as proud as, as I am of us finally kind of persevering at the end. Um, so I'm going to visit the blacksmith and see what sort of stuff he's got ready for us. I've honestly been uh, putting off getting some proper equipment for too long, and I think it's about time that we took care of that. The other thing that I wanted to do is uh, untrack this quest and track courtship so that we can go and see Teresa before noon. Um, I have a feeling that uh, we're going to have a lot more to talk about after Henry's big battle, his first big battle. Which I gotta say was a lot of fun. That um, bit with Runt at the end was frustrating me quite a bit towards the end. Uh, but like I said, I'm glad that we stuck with it and persevered. And I'm glad that we also didn't spend any perk points on, on excuse me, um, uh, sword abilities that were not long sword abilities. Which is what I would like to kind of uh, gear my character towards. Um, in some of those attempts, I kind of buckled down and when we unlocked a new sword perk, I added the perk and uh, acquired some new combos for my short sword or for my hunting sword that I'm currently using, but I did that out of necessity. I didn't really want to. Oh, this is not the blacksmith, actually. Well, this is the traitor. No, I don't want to steal that. Thank you. Let's see if he has any cool you. shit for us. There's also an armorer in town, I believe, right? Let's see here. Weapons. He doesn't have anything for me. Ordinary tar jack. He doesn't have anything at all, really, that I'm interested in. I'm looking for the armorer, who I believe is next door. Let's go and talk to him. He is over here. That's right. Not you, my friend. Sorry. The armor, I believe, is right in... Oh, no. He's right here. I was totally mistaken about that. Um, you guys... Is this the armor or is this swordsmith? Okay, well, this is who we wanted to talk to anyway. God be with you, my friend. Um, let's talk trade. And what I would like... What are you? Let's see. Weapon type longsword. Weapon type. Longsword. It's called assassin, huh? Is that like a special sword of some kind? Let's see here. Um, sword by damage, trusty companion. Um, that is a short sword, Bardish Thumper. Um, long sword, here we go. None of these are particularly great, to be honest. Um, this is what we're using now, basically. Let's see. Stalwart, huh? Wait a second, no, I'm sorting by the worst. Here we go, I want to sort by the best. Herod sword, long sword, minimum strength 10. Can't quite use that yet, but I feel like I'm close, right? My strength is eight. Um, piercer. That's, oh, that's also a longsword, huh? The tip of this longsword is as sharp as an owl, hard piercing, so it's an ideal weapon for stabbing attacks. Interesting. What about this one? Slash is strongest, and so far, most of our combos are geared towards slashes, I believe. Let's go ahead and check that, just to be sure. Let's see, player combat. Um, oh, and I have two agility perks now. Look at that. Let's see what we can do. Light armor, if you're not wearing plate armor, it'll be 50% easier for you to dodge strikes in combat. Um, let's see, your attacks will demand 30% less stamina, also cost slightly less injury. I think this won't be worth getting because long swords are agility-based weapons. Um, oh man, hold on a second. Are they? I think I'm wrong about that. Um, let me check this man's inventory again. Let's talk trade. And No, the, the long swords are strength-based weapons, so I'm just a dingus. Um, and I've been working on my... Oh, I mean, I have high agility because I'm using a sword that has a lot of agility. But So we definitely don't want to take that perk. Um, what we'd like to do, I suppose, is take a different perk in strength that corresponds to the longsword and allows us to do more damage um, but adds slightly more stamina usage to each strike. Um, but obviously that's not an agility perk, so we'll have to wait until uh, we have the opportunity to take that one. Let's see what we got here. Excuse me. Okay. So strength. We are going to want to take this one. Is it headcracker? No, heavy swing. 
Um, your attacks cause greater damage but cost you 10% more stamina. Applies only to weapons that require strength to wield. So I think that's going to be the long sword. Um, we're going to go ahead and take that one because we can, right? So strength perk, now agility perks, that means we probably shouldn't gear it towards the weapon usage. Um, if you're not wearing plate armor, it will be 50% easier for you to dodge strikes in combat. I don't know if we want that one either. Um, it's tricky. Um, are these the only perks that are available? Successful evasion during combat will lower your opponent's morale. Um, I suppose we could use a long sword and not wear light armor. That's kind of like the implication, I feel like, is that strength is for plate armor. Um, but I don't know. We're not wearing it now, so... At least I don't think so. I don't think we're wearing plate. Let's see. We can check. Uh, but also, we're going to assign another perk here to... So right now we have slash slash stab. Um, we've got slash stab stab. So I don't know. We're, uh, we're kind of working with slashes and stabs here. We got all kinds of combos and we never use any of them because we haven't actually had a longsword yet. Um, but we will in a quick second. So we're going to get the dry hunter wrist... Um, and I think, well, really, so we're, we're fine with a slash or a stab longsword, it seems. Um, let's just see what takes our fancy. Let's talk trade. Now, the, um, Herod sword is the most powerful. Um, it's very expensive, and that won't really leave us any sort of a, a gold left for any armor, which we also really could use as well. What about this razor? Minimum agility, it's a short sword. Uh, longsword, minimum strength, seven. It's got some good stabbing damage, some decent slash. This one's way better, though. Uh, I don't know. Blunt damage three, defense. It's just an overall better weapon in general. Um, but in order to use it, we're going to need two additional points of strength. Um, that might be a bit much. This one also is way, way, way cheaper. So I'm going to go ahead and go with Piercer here. Um, I'm going to grab that. And you don't have much in the way of armor, do you? I don't think so. Basket. Now, I don't think... Is there anything we could sell to our man here that he would enjoy? We can sell the hunting sword. It's not going to be worth item is equipped. To proceed, it will be unequipped. That is fine. Um, this human metal shield. I believe the long swords are two-handed. Um, so I don't know what we'll do with this shield, but it's very inexpensive. or It's not worth very much anyway. Um, he won't buy anything else from us. Now, why don't we hold on to that? Ah, fuck it. I don't need it. Who cares? Let's check our basket at all. Um, and we're at about... 491. Now, our reputation is pretty good with this man. We might be able to haggle just a bit. I'd like to discuss the price. Naturally. Okay. Because this, this is a major acquisition here. What if I bring it down to 470? Not like it matters that much, but it's something. I'll make the offer. Aye, that would do it. All right. Um, it's a little bit of a, uh, a discount, right? So now we got our brand new spanking weapon. The, uh, what's it called? Piercer. Rad. Um, now I'm also gonna check my horse's inventory, because he does have this villager's ash bow. Um, and I'm gonna move that to my inventory, this one too. The savior schnapps, I suppose. Uh, why not? We'll take three of them. Um, keep that spade right where it is. We talk to him once more. And let's talk trade. I don't know if he'll buy a bow from us, actually. Um, doesn't look like it. That's okay. We can sell that to any generic trader we like. Now the armorer is here somewhere, right? Am I crazy? Let's see here. Ah ha Armor is either this other building right in here? Maybe? Maybe he's upstairs. That would make sense, right? Hello? Yes, he is. I think. No, this is an artisan. What sort of stuff do you make, my friend? Has something happened to you? Did someone steal your fancy clothes? Um, no, I, I was just in a battle. <laughs> I do look very scary. Um, we gotta go ahead and give ourselves a wash here pretty quick. Is there like a little wash basin that we can use? There's a grindstone. Um, there's a blacksmith up the way, um, but I feel like visiting the armorer would be a, uh, a better chance to get some good armor. Right in here. Yeah, this looks like it, right? What's up, Mr. Man? Armorsmith? Good day to you. And to you. Well, we're probably getting worse prices too because we're all covered in slop. Um, let's go ahead and end this dialogue real fast and let's just see on our map if there's not a, a, a wash basin nearby. Because um, if there is, it would probably be worth getting over to it. Doesn't really look like it. Closest one is over here. Um, ah, fuck it. Since we're here. Just talk to him and see what kind of stuff we got going. Um, let's talk trade. You sell anything that I have? No. Oh, well, oh yeah, he'll take my armor. 
I take this sturdy gamison. Ah, all this stuff is just fucked up. Let's see here. What kind of stuff do you have waiting for me, my guy? Um, armor. Now, some of this stuff is going to be agility based, I would assume, while other parts are strength based. This all looks strength based. Because, I mean, none of them require any actual strength, though, which is weird. Let's see here. Weird. Okay, well, um, why don't we sort by how great it is? That's way too expensive for us at the moment. Um, and if we want to purchase any... Ooh, wow, look at that. Fancy. Um, how can you tell if it's light armor or um, not? I guess it's all plate armor that this man sells, isn't it? Let's see. Oh, here we go. Light brigandine. Oh, no, it's still plates. So this guy only sells plates, it seems. Or else I'm assuming it would be marked with agility instead. Maybe like a clothier would sell light armors. Let's see here. This stuff is much better. Rider's Curace, right? I don't think it showed up. Okay. That's pretty expensive still as well. Uh, we do not even have enough for that. Hmm. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Lightweight, dark brigandine. Um, Brigandine is a type of arm made of small steel plates riveted to a stiff, tough fabric or leather lining. Segmentation of the armor gives the gr wh blah, blah, waiter, wearer greater mobility. Jesus Christ. Um, let's see. Decorated. Oh, that one looks pretty cool. Oh, it's a little bit cheaper. I don't know. What are you thinking? Chainmail coats and vests are made from small metal rings. Uh, yada, yada. Chainmail provides good protection against slashing. Be pierced fairly easily and without a layer of padding provides almost no defense against blunt crushing blows. Um, Mobility is pretty cool. I think I'm going to go with this guy, right? This is my armor, body plate, outer garment, body chain mail, body garment. God, there's so many different bits of armor here. Um, and all of ours is just totally fucked. We need to get paid more. Oh, well. Um, well let's go with the dark brigandine for now. The rest, I just don't really know what to do with, you know? Check the basket. Um, you pay 636. Eh. It's pretty good, I guess. All right, let's close the deal. Can we do something about the price? Well, we can try it. <laughs> uh, can you bring that down just just a teensy bit? How about six ten, six twenty? Be reasonable. Aye, that would do it. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Armorsmith. Let's get that uh, lightweight dark brigandine equipped. And about repairs, because it looks like I'm not really gonna have time to do much with anything else here. Um, but I might be able to afford some repairs. Um, let's see here. No, I'll wear that. Um, can you help me out, Mr. Armorsmith, with repairs? Let's see here. What is it going to cost me? My van braces. All this stuff is... It's okay, right? Um, can we repair... Yeah, all. Oh, not the ash bow, though. I like to unselect that. Um, then close the deal. 120. How much gold do I have left? All right, I'm going to haggle once more. See if we can't get that price course. brought down just a teensy bit. Sure. That's all. Every Why bit not? helps. And uh, 105. How about that? Since it's you. Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. Okay. That's okay. 110 is fine. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. Thank you very much. Now we're looking better, right? Look at that, snazzy Henry. I'm still covered in blood, <laughs> but at least I'm not uh, too terrible anymore. Oh, shit, this stuff is actually still really bad um, because we, I guess you can't fix it when it's uh, completely broken. Or maybe because they're uh, they're like cloth and we'd have to visit a clothier in order to get that fixed. What do you guys think? Oh, my God. Oh, I wish. I do like cucumbers quite a bit. Hey, Pebbles. Hey, uh, Pebbles, I think there is a cloth ear somewhere in here, right? Trader, trader, pretzel maker, sausage maker, got a cobbler that can maybe repair our boots. Um, anything else? Apothecary. Oh, right here, Taylor. That's who we want. Oh, my gosh. Well, isn't this a fun episode with us just running our errands? <laughs> Hopefully, uh, you don't mind. Um, but, you know, shit's got to be done, right? You got to get your errands done before you can go and have fun and interrogate humans. Gotta work before you can play. Let's see here. Taylor. 
Hello, Mr. Man. Please speak with me and stop hell? walking wherever you're going. Talk, please. Please? Where are you going? Don't tell me you're off work. I really need your services. Miss Lady, you're the trader. Let's talk trade. Will you buy my stuff? No. Man? That's crap. I just needed to talk with the trader just so quickly. Um, oh, fuck me. I don't really have enough to buy any of this stuff, but I'd like to. What about the heavy gambeson? Isn't that what I'm wearing? I could get repairs, but then the trader just walks off. Or the tailor. Man. What are you gonna do? And he's just walking over here to chill out at the, uh... I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too, man. Um, there we go. About repairs. Um, can you give me repairs on all of these? How much would that be? Select all. Um, 54? No problem. It's perfect. Select. Close the deal. Perfect. I'm looking nice and fancy, right? There we go. Look at Henry. That's the man we all know and love. He's a good guy. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's get back to the task at hand. Hey, Pebbles, my loyal horse. Mount up and we gotta go visit Sir Radzig. It's nice we got our own spot at the, uh, castle now at Perkstein. That's pretty good, right? Now we don't have to go all the way back down to, uh, the mill in order to get a... A nice night's rest. But, uh, I don't mind that so much, because then we can visit our girl, Teresa. Who you guys all know, I am quite partial to. I think she's a very nice lady. And I think that she's, a uh, a great candidate. A, a suitable courtship candidate for our boy, Henry. Uh, I mentioned this in a comment. But, uh, I think someone asked me why I was so keen on hooking our, our boy, Henry, up with Teresa here. Um, <laughs> really, I just think it's kind of a, a cute... Side distraction, but also if we're getting deep on it, um, I think that uh, they have some common experiences that make for a very solid foundation for a relationship. Now I'll shut up so you can hear this. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? The men reported two more attacks today. Yikes. <laughs> ah, Henry, I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. Mm. My lord, greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. <laughs> no one can figure out how to pronounce these things consistently. That's why this is working, eh? They attacked right after the battle in Pravislovitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off. Oh, man. They even took one captive. He's wounded, but we can still interrogate him. Your graces... I hope I'm not intruding. Who's this man? On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Mm -hmm. So I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groshen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. Uh, that is to say, well-made facsimile. Uh-oh, counterfeit coin. <laughs> what you call them? I want to know what they're facking worth. That's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. Oof. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um. This here is just a pile of copper. Kurva! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some. Not a good day here in Ratai. Kurva! Fuck! Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. Hmm. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. Probably scallops. brought in from somewhere else, could they not? As a silver they mine. Could. Then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these groschen seem freshly minted, so... So we are... Oh, Mr. Tobias. ...who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Doppler devil. Well, gentlemen, smart move what actually. We have to do interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. If they haven't already, I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Solid point, Henry. My lad, I think. I said we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. <laughs> Dude, Radzig is so cool. I definitely have come so 180 on him. You again. Go to Merhoyed and question that captain. Yeah. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. 
And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Will do, oh, sir. Also. Good luck. We're counting on you. All of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. All right. Will do. Detective Henry is on the case once again. All right. Let's see. Am I going to get paid at all? Typically, I get paid when I go and speak to Sir Radzig. There he is. Oh, man. All of them. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Oh, well. Oh, beautiful day. Well, I don't think we can go and speak to Teresa um, because if it's like, um, what's it called? If it's like the first time, then we have to be there before noon. Uh, but maybe not. I suppose it's worth checking out before we make our way up north. I'm assuming that's where that is, right? Let's see here. Yeah, all the way back to Murkhoyed. All right, well, here's what we'll do. We are going to fast travel over to our girl, Teresa, just to say hi, see if we can go on our walk or whatever, or maybe this time it'll be an evening date. I don't know. Um, see if she'll accept our company, however briefly, and then we will head off north to talk to our bandit friend and see what sort of information he has for us. Oh, Teresa, anyway, as I started to say, I cut myself off quickly because of that cutscene. Um, the reason why I'm so keen on young Teresa is I think that... Um, the common experience and the common trauma between the two of them uh, makes for a very sweet foundation for a relationship. It could also result in some compounded um, internal issues for each of them, or that they would suffer from the same kinds of issues, which is not always a good thing. But it's nice to have someone who understands what you've been through, right? And Miss Teresa. Oh, she's out in her spot. I should have known. Oh, and let's take a, a quick wash, of course. We don't want to talk to our girl. Oh, gather some marigolds as well. We don't want to talk to her without a, a flower in hand and a freshly washed face. What do you think? Hello? Teresa, I brought you something. I brought you something. It's, uh, ah. Oh, really? She doesn't accept uh, flowers? Alright, well, I'm definitely... Yes, I would like to cancel. Is she going to do the thing from before? Um, I must have dropped it somewhere. There we go. Oh. Uh, okay. I don't know what these two options are. Was this... Probably wasn't the best idea anyway. Wait, what? Do you want to do something together again? Don't you want to do something together again? <laughs> That's kind of yeah. awkwardly delivered. Come back in the evening, will you? Ah, so it is an evening date this time. Still want to go somewhere to eat? Or we're going to have like a nice dinner date? Oh, it's perfect. Let's see. So perhaps I could stop by. Um, how evening are we talking here? Maybe one hour? One hour and that'll be the evening, or does, does it mean after this 21 o'clock here? Hello, Teresa. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I really could just spend time just walking around in this world. One of these days. I don't know if that would make for a particularly interesting video viewing. Still want to go oh, somewhere to eat. Fancy a walk to the town? That sounds wonderful. Ah uh, ha ha! Everyone says the Broken Wheel Tavern is the fun place to be in the evening. All right. I want you to take me there. Have you ever been to a tavern? Of course. Me and my father used to stop at the tavern in the glade when he was taking the flower into town, but he never wanted to take me oh, inside. Oh man, Teresa. What do you think, Hal? Shall we go? I think so. And just where might that be? Why not? Now isn't the time. Of course. Well, I don't see why not. But you'll have to try some ale while you're there. Oh, Henry, I you will. sly dog. I promise. Let's be going then. We're gonna go for a walk. We're gonna have another race. Take Teresa to the Broken Wheel Tavern. Hey. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to bump into you there. What's been going on in your life, Teresa? How are things going here at the you mill? Taverns a lot, do you? Not really, actually. Sometimes. If I want a proper meal, I have to. <laughs> you wouldn't want to eat the stuff I cook. <laughs> That's true. I haven't forgotten that bet you made back in Scallets that time. Don't talk about those oat cakes. Fritz's belly heaves at the very mention. Even now. <laughs> And that's where you go to woo wenches, is it? Whoa. Naturally. The taverns and baths are where the best ones gather. Oh, yeah. Henry. There's no need to take it the wrong way. I'm not taking it any way at all. It's all right. I'm only joking. I don't go picking up women in taverns. I prefer a different sort. That is the what truth. What sort might that be? All mouth and green eyes. You're such a... <laughs> Come on, then. Ah. Oh. See, I like them very much. So, here we are. 
Shall we, uh, shall we order something? Yes, definitely. Uh, <coughs> service. <laughs> oh, a pair of lovebirds. Oh. What would you like to order? Oh, we even got some dinner and a show. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah, it's all right. It's excellent. I told you. This ale, there's no better in the province. Mm, you know what? <laughs> what? What are you doing? It's time oh, to dance, no, no, Henry. No, 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 no. Bust a move. Uh, but, but really? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, come on, be brave. Oh, man, that would be mortifying for me. I've never been a fantastic dancer. I do like to dance, though. Really? It is fun. I, I don't know how. <laughs> You're doing just fine. All right. Oh, it's, All right. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a, an audience, too. Oh. <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> there we go. Right in lockstep. <laughs> it's not easy out. to do in all that armor. And you said you couldn't dance. Henry is a man of many talents, Teresa. How about a dance with a real man? Whoa! Take it easy, Mr. Like man. Bother someone else. Oh, come on. It's a crime to waste a body like that on a scrawny boy like him. You got tits like a cow in calf. Jesus Christ. That's it. I like a woman to fight before I fuck her. Oh, baby, is it time for a fist fight? Also, Teresa. That, fuck yeah. Just like not taking shit from anyone. It's like, motherfucker, I'm Henry of Scarlet's. You know who I am? Ow. I just told you. <laughs> God damn. That's right. Ugh. Defend my lady's honor. Not like she needs defending, though. Oh. Yeah. Come on, baby. A right yeah, hook. Or that was a right fine. straight, actually. Right jab. Boom. Oh. 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 I thought I had the... Oh. Missed that haymaker. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh, you're in trouble now, baby. Oh, I guess not. I still have the fist fighting is a little... Beyond my ability, it's a little strange. Oh. How is he beating me in those clenches? That's like my specialty, on, I thought. Man. It's supposed to be, anyway. Boom. Oh. Yeah. And another. Ah, oh, maybe I have to click while I'm in the clenches. What do you guys think? Maybe one of you knows. Whoa. Now you're in trouble. Boom. Boom, knee to the face. That is not not easy to take, let me tell you. Oh! <laughs> I just got one. Whoa. Oh, I know this tavern. I know where we are. Oh, and you're done. Bam. Oh, sorry, mate. Boom. And another. Ow. Come on. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Huff, puff, shit, uff. Oh, ow. Whoa. Whoa. And a nope. Ooh, you're done now. Boom. Follow up. Oh, I twisted my arm. You bitch. Come on. Man, this guy is not bad, I gotta say. Whoa. And a follow up. Whoa. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. Man, have you ever seen anything more Middle Ages than this? this two louts just punching each other around a bunch of chickens outside a tavern. Oh! I don't think so. Nice dodge. I'll give you that one. I gotta say, it's never a good idea to fight. But if you've ever been in a fight, um... It's an experience, I suppose. Oh. Whoa! Oh, you're mine now. God, how many times I gotta punch this guy in his face? He's got quite a few licks on his cheeks, I can see those. Oh! Man, that'll like put you down. I'm surprised that these guys are still standing after that. Oh! <laughs> Come on, then. Boom! Oh, right in the nuts! Come on! Come on! Fucking dog! Oh! There it is. Reached a new level in unarmed. Oh, we're gonna have one of those uh, main character wincing moments. Oh, you should worry about the other fella. 
I'm fine. Oof! Of course, of course the classic. I wince every time I touch you. Uh huh. The classic you movie saw him trope. Off, though. He wasn't feeling so playful after you'd finished with him. That's true. Oh. That tickles. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> They're so cute. I love them. Go in for the kiss, Henry. Do it. Do it. Oh. Well, maybe not the kiss yet, but then, hey, the anticipation's even better, right? So, you'll probably be fine. I think but so. try to give your hands some rest. Don't go lifting anything too heavy. Thank you. Mm. Can I take you home? You never give up. Are you sure you don't need a bit more rest? I can find my own way home. Sure. I'll manage those few extra steps. Ah. then, hero. All right. Henry, you're killing it. Now we go for the kiss, I'll right? This. Nights out with you might be painful, but they're never boring. I do my best. <laughs> mm. Well, this is me. But you should go in before Peshek starts fretting. <laughs> go for the kiss, Henry. Oh! There it is. Oh, of course Teresa goes for it first. Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about, my boy! Oh, she's so cute! You bashful little man, you. Oh. Woo! Ha! <laughs> Not a bad evening after a battle, right? I'd say that's just what he needed. Wow! What a night. Well, I think that's a great place to, uh, oh. We asking her out again in a couple days. I can't stop thinking about that feisty girl of mine. I've got to see her again. Oh my gosh, Henry. You are a, a romantic. You don't even know it. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, in the next episode, we will go up north and we'll see what this bandit has, uh, has for us about the uh, goings on of <laughs> the <laughs> enemy. Um, and we'll do that in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, as always. I'll see you in the next one.